Check, check. You know this is like the worst lighting, right? Yeah, yeah, that's why I got this guy right here. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so vain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, I don't like this lighting. Oh, oh no, man. A hot attorney is all the way around. Hot attorney is all the way around. That's, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wise, I'm sure. down. I didn't <laughs> think I got fortunate. The universe sent me awesome. We're live. This is what you see in tonight's so, um, news. What do, what's the course of action after this? Uh, at this point, we have uh, several appealable issues we feel are solid, you know, appealable issues, certainly from the beginning of the trial all the way through to uh, closing arguments and instructions. So at this point, we do plan to appeal. We feel we have a good uh, number of appealable issues that are valid, uh, solid uh, appealable issues, so we'll definitely be appealing. Okay. And what's, what's the possible um, sentencing that she could face, she and Blade could face? At this point, both Blade and Sugar face a maximum penalty of up to a year. And Sugar would like to thank all of the support that she had in court during this whole process, but on advice of counsel, she will not be making a statement at this time. Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that, we're still at the uh, First Circuit Court, where uh, <laughs> the uh, jury came out with a guilty verdict. The uh, sentencing will be Monday, so they're out. They're not uh, in jail, so. Sentencing will be Monday, and you just heard that the attorneys uh, are planning to appeal. Yeah, you wrote down the special instruction. And we'll, we'll catch up. There is some interesting uh, special instructions to the jury that the offense of obstructing government operations may occur whether or not the government action is lawful. We'll be in touch. We'll see you so, Monday. We'll so basically, they're saying Monday. that the government can break its own laws and people are not allowed to oppose it. When you come in on. That's the point. That was an interesting That's a really, really serious. That's scary. It is very Yeah. That you can be charged with obstruction. You know, even if um, what they're doing is unlawful. Even if yeah. what they're doing is unlawful, and people need to ask themselves, are, you know, is that okay with them? Basically, redefining it case by case is what it sounds like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. First question is always the easiest. Okay. Say your name. Okay. And I'm just going to stand off the way and just kind of ignore the camera. My name is Lau Lani. One second. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, say your name and spell Laulani. My name is Laulani Teal, and um, can, can you spell T, T E A L E. And uh, L A U L A. L A U L A N I. Okay. And uh, go ahead. Please tell me what okay. the was instruction. So the special instruction to the jury today was that the offense of obstructing government operations may occur whether or not the government action is lawful. So in other words, the government has just been given license to break its own laws, and people need to ask themselves whether that is something that they want to live with in society. This was an instruction that the judge, judge gave down to the jury. Yes. And this was prior to them rendering their verdict? Yes. Okay. It was a special instruction to the jury. Okay. What, what other further implications do you think this, this may have? It has a very serious implication on people's basic civil rights and basic ability to stand up for what is right, their human rights. This means that government employees, be they cops or other governmental um, employees can abuse people and get away with it and that people are not allowed to stand against that in any way and this is something that we're all going to be looking to fight very strongly. Did, did the judge cite any particular statute from by Hawaii state law? No, or? he did not. Okay. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. Okay, we're going to probably cut away word for First Circuit Court where the jury delivered a verdict guilty uh, of uh, obstruction of government operation on uh, Sugar Russell and Blade Michael Walsh.
Sentencing is on Monday, and there will also uh, the case also will be. Come down to food, not bombs. And come down to food, not bombs I'm on Sunday a afternoon. Plug for okay, food, tell not us, bombs. Okay, tell us where to. Tell us about food, not bombs. This Sunday. It's going to be at 4 p.m. at Thomas Square. One bear And the and um, this lady, this beautiful lady right here, will be there, and we are going to have an awesome celebration and rally for her and Blade and everybody else who stands up for the rights of all people. Of all of us. That's of right. everyone. I'm not going to do any online comments. <laughs> she can't. She can't say much because she she's, say anything the case she's will be, be there at under Thomas here. Square. Oh, yes, indeed. So you can come come to Thomas Square Sunday. 4 p.m. Sunday. 4 p.m. Okay, and 11 a.m. Monday back here in this hallway for sentencing. The case.